Alrighty, so this is a test recording of myself uh, getting the 21 up so I can uh, test see if this bit rate is great. So, uh, yeah, it says the rest of Mario, it's actually the rest of Luigi, so we get the 20 lives, and uh, yeah, is the bit rate correct? If the very it's great, I'll include it in the video. And what do you know, the bit rate was correct. So, anyway, what's going on, guys? And welcome back to some more Super Luigi Galaxy in the last part. Uh, we did all the Toy Town Galaxy, and that was the last galaxy we can do in uh, the engine room. This part, we're going to pay the Hungry Luma a visit. Anyway, so uh, blah, 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 got any star with. We've been through this dialogue a bunch of times already, but this time, however, he's going to ask for a very significant amount. He needs 1,000 to curb the hunger pangs, so uh, we have more than enough, but this is the reason I've been saying this whole play to get as many star bits as possible. That's it, I'm stopped. Here we go. Transform! Anyway, so... The Sand Spiral Galaxy has appeared, so, uh... I'm actually gonna do two runs of this galaxy, and, uh, you may be wondering why I'm doing two runs of this galaxy. Choosing a favorite snack is the, uh, title. That's, uh... Basically, we can do the stage with one of two power-ups. So, uh, I will do one run of this level with the bee suit, and then another with the boo suit. So, uh, yeah, so this is kind of an interesting concept for a level. Um, I'll just edit out the in-between getting the bee suit and the boo suit. Now, uh, if you don't take out that magic Koopa right away, it's just gonna, it's just start becoming more pain in the ass. But anyway, die! Alright, there we go. I think I'm gonna go with the, uh, let's go with the Boo Suit, because I like that more. Anyway, so if we get to the Boo Suit, we want to just avoid the light send. The Quicksand is instant death, so I uh, just be careful of that. We got another Boo Suit, and, uh, in case we lose it, but, um, yeah, um, basically, uh, yeah, we basically just gotta, although I think if you hit the water, um, if you hit the bubbles, I think they also take out the Boo Suit, just be a little careful on that. It's not really that hard if you use the Boo Suit. I think it's more of a challenge if you use the Bee Suit, so, uh... Anyway, so that was taken care of. Now, um... But, you know, there's Rainbow Luigi. So what we're gonna do now is, uh, basically try to... Get out, get out through these platforms. Actually, I think we can just take a shortcut like this. Maybe not, actually! I shouldn't get too, uh... I shouldn't get too risky like that. I mean, with a long jump again, um, I'll try one more time. But at least we don't have to go through that first portion again. I think you can shortcut this, but, uh, it depends on where, it depends on what the position is. What do you know? We were able to shortcut this, after all, but, uh... And, uh, that's the star. So I will actually cut to the way I do this as the B suit, so I'll see you guys in a second. Anyways, so we'll knock out one more run as the uh, beast with the bee suit. I think this is harder if you use the bee suit because uh, you don't get you have you still have the fly meter. So uh, I forgot I, I didn't take out that uh, magic Koopa, but um. All right, there we go. Now we're gonna not get zapped, but uh, use the bee suit. Actually, what do you have to what's it hard to say? Luigi, you're the best. Anyway, so um, now if you uh. If you choose the B suit, you're not gonna, um, what am I trying to say? You're not gonna be able to get hit by the, uh, you know, beams, but the boos, the boos will still, uh, affect you. So, uh, just be careful. Again, the bubbles will make you, uh, lose your B suit. So, uh, then we gotta land on this, uh, alright, there we go. I don't think it's, uh, I think it's, I think it's more tedious if you choose the B suit. I think these bats, uh, yeah, if these bats get you, they, you also lose the beast suit. So, uh, just be a little careful on that. Anyway, so, uh, we learned from the last time we can't really shortcut that. We're not going to try to shortcut this, but, uh, actually. <laughs> I still can't shortcut this. I've done, I think I've done it before where I shortcut this. I don't know. I think, I think it's because Mario jumps farther. It's easier to do it as Mario. So, uh. Anyway, so let's just do this, uh, normal. Well, actually, we're towards the end of the stage, so... Geronimo! And there we go. So, uh... Yeah, so now I got that out of my system. Anyway, so now we're just gonna tackle the final remaining galaxies, and, uh... 
the uh, engine room. We haven't done this one star galaxy yet, but we'll tackle it right. We'll tackle it off. It's the bone fin galaxy. So, uh, yeah, they think they, they let's just say they take some liberties with this galaxy, if you know what I mean. Kingfin's fearsome waters. So, uh, yeah, they kind of take some liberties with this uh, galaxy right here. It's like, it's like you think like there's a body of water, so you can just go for a giant dip, and then, however, once you enter the water, bada, 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 ba 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 ba. I apologize for my horrible impression of the Jaws theme, but uh, yeah, they definitely took some liberties with this galaxy right here. So uh, yeah, this is a boss. So um. This is Kingfin, which is kind of like a bony shark and all that. So, uh, what we have to do is that we have to kind of take, uh, we have to kind of take, uh, Cooper shells and kind of hit him with them. And eventually, he's gonna start getting, uh, he's gonna start adding little babies. I don't really consider this too hard of a boss. There should be a red shell somewhere in this area, also. I'm gonna get a bubble. Alright. Alright, there we go, and also, um, there's the red shell. Is there one more hit and he's dead, or two more hits and he's dead? Yeah, it's one more hit and he's dead, so, uh, yeah, this money starts getting really pissed, so he's gonna start adding a bunch of babies. I'm gonna get the bubble. All right, line it up. Come on, I think it's swimming faster also, but any of the way. Die! Oh, he takes one more hit. Um, Yeah, let's just go get the red shell. The red shell guarantees we hit him. I forgot how tedious this boss can be, actually. Let's just get the red shell. I'm not gonna look to see what's in those chests. I think it's just a uh, star bits. Alright, there we go, and die! Die for good! Alright, there we go. And smile, you son of a. Okay, I can't. He doesn't. He doesn't technically blow up the same way. Actually, we're low, we're. Watch well, us run out of air before we get. Okay, we got the bubbles. So, uh, where did they put the star? I think they put it. Where is the damn star? <laughs> there it is. Anyway, so all we have to really do now is the uh, boss uh, galaxy in uh, the engine room. And I think we'll be fully done with the engine room. So we just have to get the fifth out of sixth grand star. So, uh... We're pretty much almost done with this game, actually, so, uh... I think this should be, uh, finished within the next week or two, actually, so, uh... I'm actually recording this late last week, so you're gonna see this, uh... We're recording this, I can't wait, 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 wait. Let's go to this galaxy. Bowser Jr.'s Lava Reactor, so, uh... Yeah, let's just say we have to fight a certain fella a second time, which is, uh... Remember this guy? King Caliente Spicy Returns. So, yeah. Kind of a lame boss where we have to fight King Caliente a second time. Anyway, so what we we still have to get bullet bills. We have to lure bullet bills over to this thing so we can tell because it's glass. So, when it's glass, we can tell it's either bullet bills or bob bombs, which in this case is bullet bills. 
All right. Let's see if I can long jump. Uh... All right. Okay, this is gonna be a little bit tricky. There we go, there we go, there we go, All right, there we go. And there's gonna be blue pervos. I'm gonna grab this health extension as a good luck charm. Because we still have to fight uh, these two guys right here. Or die! Yay, comboed! Anyway, so uh, we take this launch star. If I give up any more grand stars, my dad's gonna get mad. So this calls for my ultimate weapon. Give him some heat, King Caliente. Well, we already fought King Caliente back in Good Egg Galaxy, so good luck with that. Anyway, so. these This time fighting King Caliente, though, you're gonna have to jump across platforms because the platform's gonna sink, so. Just do the same thing you did before, just watch, uh. This time it's gonna take two instead of one, so, uh. Just be a little aware of that. This is the harder version of King Caliente, but, uh. If you mastered fighting King Caliente, you shouldn't have a problem. Not get hit with a. Oh my god. Alright, get the coins. There we go. And eventually, you think it pissed, and it's gonna be a. Uh... We're gonna... He's also gonna add more boulders to this, so, um. There we go. Yeah, this is about, uh, I guess this is harder than the first time, so maybe just get the health extension, you'll be fine. Anyways, we got our Grand Star. And the platforms are no longer sinking. Anyway, so that was King Caliente's Spice Return. So, uh, we have, uh, five out of, we have six out of seven of the Grand Stars. We discovered a new galaxy, and when you we discovered every new galaxy in the garden. Anyway, so, we have to save our game. Anyway, so, uh, we don't get a cutscene with Rosalina, unfortunately, so, uh, I guess one last thing we can do in this video. Because we can get a cutscene with Rosalina right now. It's just, uh... Yeah, we have to go from the engine room. We can go from the engine room to the, uh... To this little place over here in the far corner. So yeah, every dome in the galaxy is now open, including this dome, and, um, this is the gate. I guess it's the last thing we can do in this part. And remember this from the beginning of the game? Sure, it was a nostalgic trip, a nostalgic trip of, like, a month ago. I don't even think it was a month ago when I started this playthrough. I will say, definitely, I don't think this playthrough has been as long as I thought it was gonna be. But, um, we have to kind of find, well, we can find this guy. If we can catch him. 
There we go. Some easy star bits right here. I never, I don't think I've ever really sought out to collect star bits in the gateway to the starry sky, but the reason we're in the gateway to the starry sky is because, um... Oh, gravitational pulls. Anyway, so, Rosalina's over there. This planet, it's very dear to me. I look forward to visiting this planet with the Lumas every 100 years. The Luma that's been traveling with my all, you also may grow up to be a star someday. Luma, some Lumas become planets, some become comets, a few become power stars. I'm traveling with them to while they look for a place to be reborn. But I never thought all this would happen. Wow, my mom must really trust you. Well, how about this? If you grab all 100 purple coins here, then you'll earn my trust too. This is a red star. It holds the power of the red Lumas. But the really amazing part about it, it allows you to fly after you spin in midair. Yes, fly! Well, pressing A, you can pick the direction you want to fly with control stick. And if you collect 100 purple coins, let you use my power somewhere else. Anyway, so this is the final new power-up in the game, the Flying Luigi. So what we have to do is we have to fly and get these purple coins. I've already gone over purple coin stars, but uh, we're not going to... This is the first one we're actually doing in this playthrough. So it's kind of standard flying controls where uh, up makes you go down and uh, down makes you go up. And we got uh, we got uh, 29, so uh, I think we missed one. So I'm, gonna, I'm just going to go try to see if I can go get it. Because this meter is going to run out eventually. So you can also like spin and get coins this way. So, uh... And, uh... Let's, you can also just uh, get these bars right here. So, uh... Yeah. So, yeah. We already have almost half the purple coins. So, uh... There's 44 and we're about to hit 50 now. But, um... Excuse me! <laughs> Imagine... I don't think you, I don't, if you, if you ever die in this level, if I ever died in this level, like, I would be ashamed if I did, but, uh, we got, uh, 67, so, uh, yeah, this isn't really a hard start, you just gotta get all the purple coins. This, the game is not intended to be the introductory to purple coins, however, if you've already done the final Bowser prior to this, uh, you'll be already familiar with this, so, uh, again, excuse me! Let's just grab these ones up here. We already have almost a hundred, so, uh... Alright. Let's get this one. You just hit Z to go down, by the way, but, uh... Let's get this, uh, next one. We should be almost, uh, we should almost have all of them. 96. And I think these last four are over here. Which they are. So yeah, we get a red power star, which is the only red power star in the whole game. Let's see if we can fly to the red power star. I've never I don't think I usually try it. I think I usually try it, but uh I, my memory's kinda off today. But uh we flew to the star oh I wanna fly to I wanna fly I wanna fly to the star. Oh, yeah! <laughs> and a Hungry Luma has appeared, so, uh... I guess we're not ending the video just yet, so, uh... But the good thing is that, uh, we don't technically have, we don't technically have to go all the way back up to, with the, uh, with the pull things. You might be wondering what I'm talking about. Well, those would be things on the observatory, so, uh, we just fly all the way up to the top. Make sure, let's make sure to get, alright, no. Let's make sure to get this thing as well. This is also an easy way to get up to the top of the observatory. So yeah, we have all the portals open, so uh... 
I think we'll do the uh, galaxies in the uh, in the garden in the next step part, but uh, we are going to feed that hungry Luma. However, we are starting to run out of star bits also. Let's see, let's see if I can fly over there. I think we can also get a one-up if you fly there, which you can, but I don't think I can get it. I almost thought I was going to have to, uh, because I was going to run out. Anyway, hey, you blah, blah, got any star bits. This time, however, he's going to need 1,200 star bits. He got his 1,200 star bits. So, uh, yeah. And this is the final star we're doing this part. So, uh, this is going to be the, uh... The Booth Boneyard Galaxies, so, uh, yeah, and, uh, yeah, it's another recycled, uh, thing we're gonna do in this video. Anyway, raising the spooky speedster, so, yeah, remember that Boo all the way from Ghostly Galaxy? Yeah, we have to race him a second time. Yep, there he is. We have to race him a second time. Anyway, so we're going to go uh, down this pipe. And, uh, I guess we have to slide down here to get the boost. So, yeah, we have to slide down here. What, what does the sign have to say? I'm tempted. Hey, the name's Jillboard. I never knew this existed, Jillboard. Listen, you remember move around as a boo. Shake your, oh, yeah. It's basically giving us over. I never knew that existed, Jillboard. <laughs> God, you learn something new every day. I never knew that existed. Eehehe, <laughs> you're after it too, so you have to race me for it. Can I say no? Okay. E here we go. Anyway, so uh I find this uh no I don't think this is as hard this is as hard this is a hard uh, actual at all, but uh you have to kinda go down. Make sure also try to even get the question blocks because uh if you do so you get some fans over here. Make sure to also shake the Wii remote if you want to uh Get some one-ups while I failed the task right there. Yeah, I don't consider this a particularly hard uh, star, but uh, I probably shouldn't open my big fat mouth. But anyway, but try to make sure you can get these because that's what makes the star considerably easier. Also, these things over here, the springs, they're gonna they're gonna try to bounce you. So uh, yeah, I don't consider this. Uh, I actually consider this easier than the other one. Anyway, so we should be almost done. We're approaching the end. We're at the we're in the ninth inning. I try to get be greedy at the star bits, but uh But anyway, that is the goal. Ehehe, 5843. Well that's the promise to promise to take the star. What does this what does this guy have to take? Is he take it already? Yeah. This guy gave me a lot of trouble as a kid, both, like, uh, the first one at least, but, uh, yeah, doesn't anymore. Alrighty, so, uh, yeah, that is gonna cut it off in this part of, uh, Super Luigi Galaxy, so, uh, Next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, well, first of all, we gotta go up there, so, uh, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, hold on a second, let's just ride our way up there, next time on Super Luigi Galaxy, let's try to see if we can find the Luma, we're gonna go inside the garden, see you guys then.